Hi everyone. Uh, today I'd like to talk about drawing in the page versus drawing in the page versus drawing on the page. It's uh, a topic that I've touched uh, many times. That's that's what many times in the past uh, I've talked about it a lot. Um, but I don't think I've ever given a very good, clear explanation of drawing in the page. <sighs> One of the problems that people have when they draw is not that they don't have any depth perception. I, I, I talk about this a lot. I talk about trying to draw um, with this 3D perspective, being able to draw you know, with the sense that things are moving into and out of the, the, the plane of, of the uh, camera space. But um, one of the problems that people have is not that they don't have depth perception. I mean, when I ask people, um, you know, did you manage to get here? You know, did you manage to, to walk across the street? Did you manage to get to your room without crashing into anything? And if you have no depth perception, then obviously, you know, you are going to crash into things. So most people can get from point A to point B walking there without crashing into anything. So the problem is not their depth perception. Their depth perception is just fine. You know, I can ask people, you know, how far away is my hand from the camera? And they can say, oh, that's maybe about a foot, you know. Oh, that's maybe about, you know, four inches away. They can tell. How, what's this distance? You know, people will say, oh, that looks like about, you know, a little less than a foot. So the problem is not depth perception. Um, you ask people, you know, some people say, oh, I have problems with anatomy. Well, you know, I ask them, or they, they say they don't understand proportions. I ask them, how wide's a head? And they can say, oh, it's, maybe it's about that wide. It's about that deep. Maybe it's about that tall. You know, it's, it's, people don't, people have a pretty good sense of, of proportions, they have a pretty good sense of depth. That is not the problem. The problem is that when they sit down in front of a piece of paper, all that goes out the window. All of their perceptions go out the, the window. And the reason for this is because when you sit down and you look at a piece of paper, their eyes and brain are correctly notifying them that this is a flat piece of paper. And so everything is just, they are scribbling on this flat piece of paper. and that's why it doesn't work. So in order to get around this, you need to be able to look at the piece of paper at, at the piece of paper and see it as something that is three-dimensional, not two-dimensional. This has to appear like a window that goes into space. And you know, wherever my pen is, you have to know where your pen is. And and by this I mean not where your pen is on the page, but where the pen is in space. You guys probably all think I'm on crack, so I'm going to show you a little program called Google SketchUp, and something that you can get, get for free on Google. Google it to find it. It's called SketchUp. And look at my mouse cursor, where my pen is. My pen is sitting somewhere in space. I can say my pen's, oh, sitting way far back. Oh, now my pen's sitting, you know, far forward. And when you're drawing, you're constantly trying to navigate within space. You're trying to say, you know, my pen where your pen is. Your pen can only be at one place in space at any given time. So you must be constantly aware not only of where your pen is in space, but where it's going to. I can say that my pen, you know, is about halfway in, into the middle of this block. Now I'm going to make it come towards me along, you know, this this green Y axis. I'm going to make another line that's going along on the x-axis. I can make another line that's going up on the z-axis. So as you can see, wherever my pen is, you know, it may be flat against the, the monitor, but one thing's for sure is that it is sitting somewhere in, in space. My pen is in the screen, not on the screen. So I'm going to show you this is the screen view. You can still see that. So this is what I mean by drawing in the page or drawing in the screen, not on the screen. It's 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 an odd concept, but it's a three-dimensional concept. You know, you have to be able to uh, to navigate. You need to be able to turn things around. See, everything is a three-dimensional space. So even when you see on the external view out here. It's a three-dimensional space. Even though this is a flat two-dimensional screen, you have to be able to treat it as a three-dimensional space. And the same thing happens when I get into my drawing program that I should be able to treat this as a three-dimensional space, that things are getting 
closer at any wherever my 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 pen is my pen can only be in one space at any given time so if my pen is sitting way back here it is sitting further back in space now it is moving high up into the sky now my pen is coming let's see coming closer I might have to zoom out on that yeah now I can see that this line is closer so this is the perception, the three-dimensional perception that you require. You have to be able to navigate in space, to be able to move into and out of space. So if you can control where your pen is sitting in space, you will have a much better control over form. You have to be able to look anywhere on this screen, look at any point on the screen, and perceive where you are in space. You have to be able to navigate in space to say that you are far away or close up or moving off to the side. This is the three-dimensional sense that you normally have when you are walking around not crashing into things. The only problem is how to retain that sense of space when you are looking at a flat screen. So what I suggest you do is all of the other exercises that I've shown you in the past of being able to draw boxes. You have to be able to navigate one point, one corner of the box from the next corner of the box to be able to say that it is moving back into space and moving forward into space. To be able to draw sequences of boxes that can rotate and are now juxtaposed, navigated in different positions relative to one another so that they can freely rotate. If you have this freedom, if you can retain the sense of depth and perspective that you normally would have when you are walking about not crashing into things, like when you are walking down the hallways of your own house, that is what you need. So people don't necessarily have problems understanding perspective. I think people have a very good understanding of perspective because they can simply look at things and tell and, and make these spatial judgments. They are born with this sense. The problem is how to retain the sense of perspective. It's not that you don't know perspective. You can know perspective and still screw up. And there's only so much that knowing perspective will do for you. You have to be able to sense it. You can already sense it, but you have to have that sense. You must retain that sense when you look at the paper. There's other exercises that you can do. You can try and make scribbles that appear to be sticking to a ground plane. You can try to make circles once they are, they are flat on the screen, but to be able to turn them around and make them go away and flip and come towards you and become flat and turn away and go off into the distance and turn around and there is no limit to how close there is no limit to how close things can be they can be if they are if they are close they can be so large that they fill the screen but then they can get further and further and further away and there's no limit to how far things can get so you have to have this sense of depth, being able to make lines, adjusting the width of these lines, and also the spacing between these lines to make it appear as if they are coming towards you. This is all navigation, you know, a skill I call navigation, being able to find your way through space on a flat plane. Okay.